2020 was, like most years, full of crazy moments in games and the gaming industry as a whole. While it's hard to say how it compares to previous years, or if it will ever be outdone, we can at least take this moment to acknowledge the 10 craziest moments in gaming from 2020. Jill, are you, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! <sighs> Number 10. Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales Taking on Rhino for the first time, a turnaround moment for Miles. It's not very long into Spider-Man Miles Morales where we see Miles really pushed past what he thinks are his limits in the battle with Rhino. Peter Parker certainly doesn't take the battle very well and Miles needs to step in. I would like to exchange for new one. Ah, this one. Miles, get out of here! Come on. Back the hell? It's an important moment in the game because it sets up Miles for a series of more events where he exceeds what he thought were his limitations, and ultimately, by the end of the game, becomes worthy of the suit he wears. It also serves as a nice introduction to Miles' more unique powers. Number 9. The Moment with Ku in Ori and the Will of the Wisps Ori and the Will of the Wisps has more than its fair share of impactful moments, but perhaps it's the moment where Ku is finally brought back to life that really takes the cake. Ori is able to harness the power of the light, but of course, that comes at a huge cost, and Ori essentially exchanges his existence, as we know it, to make it happen. It's an act of sacrifice that echoes the events in the first game, but is all the more impactful here because of all the events that led up to it. Number 8. The Final Duel with Lord Shimura in Ghost of Tsushima You are my son. Now I must continue the line of Shimura without you. I must start a new family. And my head is the cost. Much like many of the greater games of 2020, Ghost of Tsushima is not short on impactful, memorable moments. It's tough to pick one for this list, but at the end of the day, it's the final boss battle with Lord Shimura at the end that has got to be it. The two different philosophies of those two characters finally comes to a head despite the success that Jin had in driving off the Mongols. It's particularly heart-wrenching because of Jin's genuine attachment to his uncle, and vice versa. But at the end of the day, Jin's uncle and Jin both have to do what they feel needs to be done, and it just can't end any other way. Number 7. Half-Life Alex's Jeff Level Half-Life Alex was, in some ways, the next Half-Life game that fans have been waiting on for many, many years. It was also a much-needed VR system seller game that's undoubtedly shepherded countless new fans of VR into that world. One of its more notable elements was a level that felt more like a horror game than anything as the player was tasked with navigating around a blind, yet effectively invincible enemy that would result in a pretty bad time if discovered. With this experience being complemented and heightened so well by the nature of VR, 
it quickly became one of Half-Life Alex's most infamous sections, and deservedly so. Number 6. Resident Evil 3's Opening The Resident Evil 3 remake clearly has its share of shortcomings, and there's a lot of good reasons why it wasn't quite as universally loved as the remake of the second game, but that does not mean that Resident Evil 3 does not have its share of outstanding moments, including its opening. Despite some fundamental differences that this opening has with the opening of the original Resident Evil 3, it does an equally good job of setting up the game for the adventure that lies ahead, with lots of Umbrella Corporation propaganda and Jill finding herself in a situation that is anything but what it seems to be at first. Number 5. The Last of Us Part 2's Rat King Boss Battle The Last of Us Part 2 is defined by many things, but one of the more insanely awesome parts of the game that pretty much everyone agrees on is the Rat King battle in the hospital where several different types of infected beings have all somehow morphed together into an indescribable blob of terror that could only be dealt with by emptying all of your weapons into it while also trying not to get cornered in the dark recesses of the hospital in which it resides. This battle was one that few saw coming, and upon completion gave players a sense of satisfaction that was likely unmatched by most of the rest of the game. Number 4. Visage's Opening Sequence I won't spoil much of this for you here, but if you haven't played Visage yet, and you're a fan of real horror in games, this is a game you absolutely need to play if for nothing else than to play the opening sequence. The infamous PT demo has gone on to inspire horror games in lots of different ways. But perhaps the most well-executed example of this is with the game Visage. Number 3. Kiru's Appearance – Yakuza Like a Dragon Yakuza developers made no secret about the fact that Kiru would be in Yakuza Like a Dragon. But the way he shows up still manages to be a fun surprise. Kiru basically breaks up a fight that's on the verge of turning deadly with a solid punch that no one other than the Dragon of Dojima could throw. He does continue to impact the story in some ways later on, but the moment of his introduction is definitely the most impactful overall. Number 2. The Boss Battle with the Flame Lurker – Demon Souls Remake The Demon Souls Remake wouldn't be as remarkable as it is if the Flame Lurker battle didn't reach the heights it was always meant to reach. This boss is arguably one of the hardest in the game, especially if you aren't adequately prepared for the flame attacks or his fast movements, but it's certainly one of the most shocking and spectacular with the amount of stuff going on. It's a battle that aesthetically and gameplay-wise stands out in the game, and if you're new to Demon's Souls, you're likely to suffer quite a shock to your system upon discovering this beast. Number 1. Joel Miller's Death we are in spoiler territory, but odds are, if you're watching this, you already know what happens in The Last of Us 2 that drove so many gamers to immediately take to the internet and argue about it. The Last of Us Part 2 is full of crazy moments. Easily the biggest one, and the biggest moment in gaming of the year, though, was Joel getting killed by Abby in such a gruesome way. It's hard to not feel strongly about it one way or the other, as the game heavily leans into this moment as the core of what drives the story and motivations of Ellie as well as Abby. Whether you hate this part of the game or love it, you have to admit, it definitely achieved its goal of getting fans talking for at least half the year. It's a development in the game as well as the gaming industry on the whole that will continue to echo for years to come. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed and would like to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to ensure you'll be notified when new videos go up.